Hello there folks, it is CIJ Gaming and welcome to a brand new video. Today is time for one that I am immensely looking forward to on the newly released Formula Retro Racing on the Xbox One. A game that has been developed by Repixelator who are based in London in the UK. It is to be released tomorrow on the 15th of May on the PC and the Xbox One. So you can get the game on the Xbox Live Store as well, well the Microsoft Store I think it's called, as well as on Steam on the PC. The game is going to be priced at 9 99 and it's effectively a retro style arcade racing game that tries to emulate some of the classics we had in the 90s. Now, Repix later developed a few indie titles, this is their latest in the line. I'd like to thank you, the guys at Repix later, who have given me a code for this game to play for free and review for you guys. So I'm very excited to get into this for the Xbox One. Uh, the features of this game retro arcade racing action, obviously. Uh, as you can see, there's the arcade, there's Eliminator, I always love a good Eliminator. Uh, low poly visuals in HD and 4K at 60fps. Eight unique tracks, each with varying difficulty. Uh, classic arcade checkpoints in a uh, checkpoint racing game mode. Destructible cars with crazy crash physics. And uh, a race time online leaderboard for each track. Excellent. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into this. This is going to be a first look of this game. And uh, if you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comments. I'm more than willing to do a few parts of this series. We've got... Um, eight tracks here, uh, City Loop, Ocean View, GP Circuit, Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo is definitely based on the Monaco Grand Prix, uh, and Speed Over, which we can't seem to get on with, so we'll start with the City Loop, uh, we'll go with Advanced, go with like a Ferrari S car, and here we go, for the first race on Formula Retro Race, this has been made by Repixelate, I know that Team VVV, um, who are a very popular racing uh, YouTube channel. They've been involved in consulting with this game, so should be excellent. If you are new to my channel, I am Toby from TIJ Gaming. I uh, am a massive F1 fan, so this is uh, a game that I'm really looking forward to getting into. This is the kind of game that I like to see released on platforms like the Xbox One because they're, they're, there are never enough of these kind of games uh, released these days. Back in the day when we had the PS2, there was a load of games. But look at this drifting around the first corner. This is excellent. So we started last. Uh, and there's eight laps around the circuit. I'll try to look behind. Oh, we've crashed into him. Get out of the way, number 14. So there's four cameras. Probably go for the the far chase. I think it's called. I think you've got, obviously, the, just the yeah, general camp. Near chase and far chase. But this is 9 99 it's going to be priced up. I don't know if there's any multiplayer facility. I'm not exactly sure about that. Um, but it might be added in the future if not. But there you go. New fastest lap. 36.6 for us. So we'll go into the corner. Give ourselves as much space as possible. We're going nice and uh, outwards into it. And then cut back to the inside. But we're nearly into ninth place. I think we might have to increase difficulty on this. But this is brilliant. I really like the graphics. As it says, um, it tries to replicate some of the old... 90s games, some of the old classic 90s arcade games. I think it does that really well. Obviously, it's like a high definition remaster, isn't it? and at a price of 9.99, it's not very expensive either. And I think there's probably hours of fun to be had on this game. So another fastest lap, just eight tenths quicker of 38.8. So currently in seventh place. Can we get round number six? He was going to the inside there, so I was going to go around the outside. Handling's good though. You know, it, it, it's good handling. Nice and easy to pick up. Obviously, it's an arcade game, so no surprise there. Just a shame you can't put any coins in the slot to play the game, eh? I mean, I'm, I'm too young for all that, but this is really enjoyable. So, up the inside of number five, that's almost like a Rothman Willi a Rothman's Williams colour scheme up front. Uh, again, I tried to go with like a Ferrari colour scheme. Looks very similar to that Rothman's. But our time's been extended. Oh, I mean, look at that lap time. One thousandth off what we did before. That is uh, consistency if you can find it. But there we go. That's the Rothman Williams. And let's pretend that's Michael Schumacher in the Ferrari. Just dipped our wheels into the, the gravel there. So racing with a pretend Schumacher. Let's just pretend, eh? Oh, Jesus! Well, that was uh, Schumacher-esque, wasn't it? That was Schumacher-esque. Taking you out. Oh, dear. I mean, to be fair, it was also went into the back of him, but... We crashed out. That was that was uh, brilliant. But our car has all of a sudden managed to respawn quite all right. And we're back into sixth place. So across the line, lap five. I don't think we're going to win now because of that. Bloody hell, shoo me. Right, sixth place. So I, I, let's pretend this is a Stuart GP, a Stuart Ford. Look at that speed. Look at this. Ah, that's, that's why we went into the back of him. 
We've got the slipstream effect. We closed in a lot quicker than I was expecting. If you notice, the speed went to something like rid ridiculous, like 320 kilometers an hour, as you can see. We've got the slipstream already, but the problem is you gain on the car so quickly that it's very tricky to control that slipstream. But uh, I think we've actually lost our front wing. You can't tell. But uh, it's certainly got some damage. This is really enjoyable. There's uh, a few achievements on the game, which I'll show you guys shortly. There we go. That's where the slipstream should be used. It's a good effect. I mean, he's got the slipstream on us now, and he's trying to break out that slipstream. Oh, that was close. Very close. We could be tight on the next checkpoint. Give him only two seconds away there. So a P5. I'd like to get on the podium. I can see Schumacher up ahead. This is for what you did earlier, Schumi. Is this going to be our fastest lap? Yeah, so 35.69. Excellent. I don't think this game would have online support, but it'd be awesome if it did. It'd be a cracking little one just to play with your mates, wouldn't it? Oh, we've got 10 seconds to get to the next checkpoint. I don't think we'll make it. All right, hurry up. Four, three, two. Oh, we just about made it. One lap to go after this. I do make content on Formula 1 games. Uh, F1 2014 is the current career mode I'm doing. So uh, check that one out. Got the slipstream though on the Williams on the straight. But it's not really worked. We have to get out that slipstream quite quickly. But it's quite tricky to do. We're quite overpowered around here. So hello again. Remember me. The one you tried to take out. We're back on the podium. But... I mean, it'll be a struggle to get to this checkpoint again. There's the top two. It's just going to be too little too late. I think we would have probably won if it wasn't for um, the red car's antics, er antics earlier. That being said, it's not over yet. I think it is now. That's like a Benetton, isn't it? Like a Benetton Renault up ahead. Can we get the slipstream? Can we get the slipstream? No. I mean, that's P19 anyway, but... Oh, right. Okay. Interesting across the line, but we've got one of the achievements. We finished third, and we've done what it says on the tin. We've completed a race. So I'll quickly show you the uh, achievements. So we've got first win, uh, finish first place. Win uh, free race for 100 gamer score. Amateur license, semi-pro, professional, uh, eliminate, which we'll do next. Level 10, level 20, level 30. And then unlock the free tracks. So fairly easy to unlock the, the achievements. And seeing as I'm a bit of an achievement junkie, I look forward to get some of the achievements on this. And as I've said before... If you guys want to see more videos on this, let me know down in the comments, and I can certainly arrange uh, a few more videos. I, I, I just love games like this. Pick up and play at the end of the day. But here we go, back into the main menu. So, Eliminator. Uh, let's go with Ocean View this time. Let's just go for it. Let's go Expert. Let's be cocky. It's a three point multiplier for every level you get to. The last game I played Eliminator in was, I remember Juiced 2, a hot import night. That was the cracker of a game. I had that on the PS3. I haven't got it anymore. I'm a bit gutted about that. Might have to buy that one. Okay. So there's the Benetton in front. Certainly modeled, modeled on an old Benetton. But here we go. Three, two, one, and we're away. So we're ahead of the... Oh, Jesus. We're ahead of the, the top guys at the moment. Oh! <gasps> Not the best way to start. Oh, dear. Tyres flawing all over the track, and we've lost our front wing again. But we should be through this. Reach position to start race. What position we've got to get to? Not sure. Position 10. Ah, right, okay. All done. Race has started. Excellent. So I'm not exactly sure how these levels work. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. That's a simple enough track. We can learn that. Probably crashing's, crashing's not going to help us. Race level 2. Okay. I mean, you don't have to break around any of these corners. That's what... Oh, well, you don't have to break. You might have to break around that one. Don't think you're getting around that full throttle. But being too greedy into the corner there, that ain't going to help. Reach 10 or higher to stay in the race. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. We could be out. Here. Get out the way. You cheeky git. Well, I think we're out. How rude. 
Just ran into the side of me. There was no need for that. How rude. Well, I I'm not facing the pain of, of going out here, but that was rude. I think we're good enough. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll change the colour scheme. What should we go for? Let's go for that Benetton look, shall we? In fact, it's more of a Renault look, isn't it? Early 2000s Renault look. Awesome. So we've got to stay in the top 10 for now. And then obviously rise as we go throughout, I think. I want to get to eliminate Eliminator level 10. Or even level 30. Who knows? So, rolling start. So starting in last again. So we need to get to 10th. But this, this runs... Uh, it's pretty stable, you know what I mean? There's, there's no problem with it from where I'm standing. It runs smoothly. No glitches. Oh, not again. We need to learn to control our temper going into that corner. We can get fruit flat, but not when everybody else is there. We need to stay out the gravel as well. This is, this is harder than you might think, especially being a bit greedy. Uh, oh, Jesus, 11 and 10 have lady crashed into each other, so thank you very much. So, race has started. We're into 10th. There's 9th. We just need to get clear, everyone. I feel like when we're close to anyone, we can crash, but we're okay when we're by ourselves. So, on to the start finish straight. We're in P9. Should be level 2, shouldn't it, if we get past this lap? Yep, level 2. So, that's 3 points. Oh, 6 points if we get past level 2. See, we can get through there flat. Obviously, nobody else thinks they can. We could do with a handbrake. That would be nice, but I suppose that would be unrealistic, wouldn't it? So, P9. It's going to be tricky, this, to get up to P8. Put your foot down. I mean, oh, I just love it. So, there's P8 quite a way ahead. And I don't really think we've made any gains on this lap. So, we might have to go back down to advanced. I think we've been a little bit cocky, potentially, being on the expert level. Good. So, nine points now. Staying in at level three. I think it must just be 20. If it must just be a 20 lap thing. We'll see how far we can go on expert, though. We might have to move it down to advanced if we want to win. Oh, goodness me. Well, there's P9. That could be a problem. You cheeky git. I saw you put me in the gravel there. Rude. Yeah, we might have to go down to it. Oh! What? 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 I didn't even do anything. That's just rude. I'm not having that. I'm going back down to advanced. That was just rude. There was no need for that, was there? At all. But this has been recorded in 1080p, 30fps. I mean, it is in 60fps. Uh, but, I mean, there's not really much point showing that, I don't think. I think quality is better than frames, personally, when it comes to something like this. Could be wrong, though. Three, two, one, go. Right. Okay. So this is on... Is this on the advanced... I forgot. Yeah, it's on the advanced level. But you only get two points for getting to... I mean, look how much quicker we are already. I think advanced might well be our level. That being said, we're down to 11th. So we've got to stay in position 10 or higher. Quite tricky to control the slipstream, you know. I'll tell you what, we actually need to get that place. We're out. <laughs> oh, dear. This is just going marvellously, isn't it? Oh, dear. Well, at least we've completed... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at that. Parts flying everywhere. We'll try one more Eliminator race before we finish. Um, we'll go... We'll go to the GP circuit. So, we'll go... Expert again. Take on a new colour scheme, why not? Well, this is a very good rating for me so far. I'm really enjoying this. I could probably play a lot of this in my free time. Which, by the way, people have got a lot of at the moment. But it's 9 99 on the Microsoft Store and on Steam. Starting tomorrow. So if you're watching this on the 14th of May, you won't be able to get it yet. But it does come out tomorrow. So this is the third circuit. 
it'd be good if I could uh, see the go, <laughs> see my car. Right, this is a bit more challenging. But look at everybody else; they're just they're just sleeping. So race is underway. Gonna be tricky this, especially when we do that. So P9, oh dear, down to P10, now P11. Oh my god, this isn't going well, is it? Oh dear. This is, dear, tell you what, for an arcade race, this is bloody trickier than I thought we're going to be out again here. Oh god. Right, I've got to try that again. Once again, come on. I'll tell you what, I think the eliminator mode is the best sell uh, selling point of this game. The arcade obviously is great, but the eliminator is where you can have some real fun. Right, up to 10. It's that slipstream that's a problem. You don't know what you're getting it at some point, and then you crash into the back of someone. Right. Oh, dear, that's a touch. So we need to stay in the top 10. I'll just cut that corner. Oh, no. It's happened again. It's happened again. Oh, dear. We're going to be out again here. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. Let's get the slipstream. He's trying to veer out of it. But we're both going to be out. Oh, let's try again. This is too addictive. Far too addictive. It's actually concerning now. Right. Okay. Let's go once more. Let's go around the GP circuit. Come on. Was it 100 points for that first achievement? Yeah. It was. Cool. Now we've got 75 gamer score already, which I love. Awesome. Okay, come on. Let's go again. Third time lucky, eh? We just need to not be too greedy. Stay in tent from Raw Rides. Good move up the inside. The handling's actually pretty good, I think. That's nice, since the top eight. Oh! <gasps> I mean, how could we control something like that? I feel like a lot of this has been out of our control. Cheating sods. Oh, dear. Come on, power. It's a short circuit. That's the problem. Oh, my God. We've been hit again. They're all bully... They're all bullying me. I don't like it. I want to last at least a lap, and I'll tell you what, with everybody respawning, they probably will here. No, they're too far in front. They've already crossed the line for 10th. Oh, dear. Right, one more go, I promise. Right, I've gone with the first circuit this time. Just because I know my bearings around there, and I think we'll get into the top 10, I would say. Oh dear, two seconds in, that's gone well, hasn't it? This is going swimmingly. The arcade looked pretty good. We were in the top three and I got quite cocky, but round here, on the eliminator, it's not so good. Right, into 10th. The race is underway. So we've got to stay there for the rest of this lap at least, just to get three points. Shouldn't be too hard, surely. Ninth. Just stay on the straight and narrow. It's tricky, this, I'll tell you that. So we're at the slipstream. So we're staying in P9, so that's three points. Excellent. Should be able to stay there for another lap. Certainly around this first corner where everybody seems to be quite shy around. That's another place gained. P7's on the horizon. I'd certainly pay a tenner for this. There's some games that can rip you off for 50 quid, but this is well worth it. Right, we're in 8th. Going to be a problem to catch up to 7th, but good lap. 35.56. This is level 3, so 9 points if we finish this lap. And as you can see, we're pretty clear of uh, the guy in 11th, so we should be okay for the moment. 10 to 14. So there are, there are, are two people that have been knocked out. So if we stay here, we should get 30 points at least, shouldn't we? And then, so, for level 2, you can get 40 points by winning. For this, you can get 60 points. But obviously, the risk you take. We're going to struggle to get any higher than 8th. But if we keep going at it, 
And now there's a crash up front. We should be okay. A new personal best just by 3,000s. But 12 points if we can stay, stay in this at this lap. We're not going to catch up to 7th here. We've just got to stay in it. Just check it's only 17 left. No, I, th I think there's 19. Unless that's... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't care. As long as, as, long as we're getting the points... It's all about that gamer score. I mean, he's getting in our slipstream here. And we'll get back in his slipstream. But he has overtook us. We'll take that back, thank you very much. You, what are you trying to do? He's gone way off though, to be fair. He slowed down. But we're way off P7. So... I'll wait until there's any action and I'll uh, let you know then. Because I really want to get these 30 points and we should be able to. This is going to be close. Oh no. Stay in 10th. Stay in 10th please. Oh goodness me there's been a crash behind. Whew, we stayed in 10th. We were caught napping a little bit there. And we are down to 10th. I know he's going to come through. But we'll come back into 10th. This is tricky I'll tell you because once I mean the other guys are ahead, faster than I mean as you can see. Gone already. But we've got our 30 points. That's what we wanted. Tricky, this. Because they are quicker than you. But you've got to get that slipstream and get ahead of them. Track position is everything. As you can see, he's completely bolted. But we're going to be below 10th. So we're going to get our 30 points. Which hopefully should be some nice to... Ch oh, well, that's uh, rude. I know we're going out of the race, but there was no need for that. And we come across the line... And uh, we got to level 10. That is not too bad. Or was it level 10? It might well have been. Yeah, it was just level 10. I thought as much. Not 30 points. Just level 10. Christ, how'd you get to level 30 then? That's what I want to know. Level 20, level 30. That's uh, mad. That's crazy. But I did enjoy that. Really did enjoy that. I hope you guys have done too. And uh, we've also unlocked the desert track. That was very exciting. So up to 71 points. We're not far off getting that amateur license at 100 points. But... Uh, as I said, the game is available from tomorrow for $9.99 on the Steam Store and the Microsoft Store, whatever your preferred platform. I'm not sure about a PS4 or Switch release. I know that other platforms should be coming soon, but this release will be on the Xbox One and the PC. But if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like down below. On these first looks and first impressions, they matter a lot because it means the video can be seen by more people. And if we can sell this game more copies, that is absolutely fantastic. And I haven't been endorsed to this, by the way. I haven't been paid. Um, I just think it's a really good game. So off my own accord, I believe that uh, we should get some more copies. So, but as you can see, we're in 15th. Excellent on the, the City Loop race times. That is absolutely awesome. But as I said, if you enjoyed that, leave a like down below. Subscribe um, for more uh, content on Formula 1 games. I also do snooker as well, if that's your thing. If not, oh well. But uh, yeah, to subscribe would be absolutely fantastic. So subscribe for more uh, F1, snooker content, gaming content in general, as hinted by the name TIJ Game. But I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much for watching for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.